Indirect proof is important enough for us to take a little extra time on it. Uh, it. Indirect proof is a way of making some really hard problems medium, medium problems easy, and easy problems almost not worth doing anymore. So if you're finding yourself struggling using just the rules, indirect proof is a way to make a lot of these things easier. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Uh, Paul presented this indirect proof problem, that's great. But I just really want to make sure you understand kind of what's behind it. You guys use indirect proof a lot of times anyway. Just imagine you're sitting in a bar having drinking red hooks with a buddy and you get on some crazy conversation about, I don't know, the existence of Sasquatches or something. You have a disagreement with your buddy. He's saying one thing, you're saying the other. Going back and forth, back and forth. He can't convince you, you can't convince him. At some point, what you might do, what you might have done already in a similar situation, depending on how many times you hang out in bars, is you might say, look, you moron, let's pretend you're right. And he's going to go, yeah, 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 that's right. And you say, no, wait a second. Let's just pretend you're right for a second. Let's pretend your position's good. Yeah. Okay. So what you want to believe is this. Now, your buddy, the moron you're drinking beer with, he says the opposite. You're going to pretend your moron buddy's right. So, fine. And you tell your moron buddy, if you're right, wouldn't this be the case? And he'll go, yeah. And if that's the case, wouldn't this be the case? Yeah. And if that's the case, then this totally crazy thing, and we know this is totally crazy because it's a logical contradiction. All logical contradictions are false. And you tell your buddy, dude, if this is true, then this must be. But you know this is false. Therefore, this has got to be false, which is exactly what you're saying here. It's a brilliant line of reasoning. You allow, your other, you allow the other person, you pretend the other person's right, and then show that if he's right, and he's not, he's a moron, if he's right, then this crazy, ludicrous contradiction shows up. And if a contradiction comes from his position, his position must be false. And that's why we then have the exact opposite of what's assumed. We assume idiocy, what your friend is saying, draw a contradiction from it, and then say, see, your position's false, so we're going to write down the exact opposite. Wonderful line of reasoning, and that guy has to pay for the beer next round. So, it's worth learning.